G'day folks, today we're working on this uh, little Pope lawnmower. Um, originally these were sold mostly in big W stores that I saw. Um, they weren't that awful of your bargain basement type machine. So, this sort of maybe your low to mid range mower. Um, it's got nice Honda style ball bearing wheels on the all four corners, quite adjustable. You've got the Briggs and Stratton engine rather than the Chonda. Um, one downfall is a bag, oh, bag to style catcher. Not a huge issue. Um, and a bar blade that no one seems to carry in spare parts, but this one appears to be okay. And I've got a good second hand one if it is a bit past it. So this was given to me the other day. They said it, it's hard to start does run though. Um, just something I've noticed straight away when I went to have a go at starting it is the um, starter knobs snap like this. So at um, one point I will be definitely checking the um, flywheel key because these tend to shatter when the flywheel keys are uh, damaged. Could have just flown in and cracked off too if it was particularly weak but more often than not when I've seen it like that the flywheel key is damaged. Um, we'll give it a bath quickly and um, get into it. All right, so that's looking much better. Um, just a quick hose off. That didn't really have any um, degrees or anything. So yeah, we'll let it dry for another half an hour or so. Fill it down into the workshop and uh, see where we can get done. So first things first, I'll get this top cover off to um, see. About this flywheel key. I was saying it is snapped, but with the bar blade and um, the way the starter handle snapped, I'm going to have a guess saying that there is something funky going on there. cable and just set the governor to run it at um, running speed. Just removes one possible issue down the track of stuff going wrong. It's a little bit grubby, so I'll go and find the socket to um, take this starter cap off and we'll, we'll look further into it. Right, uh, that's not damaged, it is slightly offset though. but not the cause of our issue. Put that back on quickly, it's just worth checking, especially when there's been obviously something wrong. But combining it with our hard starting, it might be an ignition coil problem also, so. Had a couple like that before. All right, pull this plug out. Looks black, not fouled with oil or anything in particular really. Um, I'll clean it afterwards and leave it be. So what I'll do now is I'll just quickly um, degrease and pressure wash underneath the cowling here. 
so it's a bit cleaner to work with. Now that's much nicer. So, next up, I'm not sure what the plan of attack is at the moment. Might just um, put a cable tie around the bail handle there. Pull the plug and actually test it for spark. And just as I've gone to put the camera down, notice a big slice out of the ignition wire. It's not all the way through, I don't think. But it could have been giving us some grief. And there's a split up near the top, so we might just replace it. So I've got the spark plug pulled out and earthed out against the head there. And a um, bit of starter rope wrapped around the bail bar there. And we've got no spark whatsoever, which kind of makes sense because you could feel fuel priming when you squeeze the prime bolt, no worries. And the fuel in it didn't identify as anything other than petrol at this stage. Um, can't see any water in it, but there's no spark whatsoever. So I'll switch this unit out real quick. Get another one and um, see if we can get some spark there. So, got another coil. Got a different end on it. They all work the same. As long as I've got one off one of these, um, this style of engine, not the quantum style, it will bolt straight on. Sit that out of the way for a moment. Oh. Get it away from the magnets. I don't think I've got anything to gap it correctly with me on me at the moment. But anyway, we'll just pull it by eye. This one's a bit grubby. A more of a test than anything though. Should be good enough for a test. Ah, uh, we've lost the bloody governor linkage. Hang on. Take the air filter off real quick. Oh, this bolt's a little bit bent. I'll be ready to throw it so nice and clean. Plug in. Ah, there's a faint that spark there. Pretty sure the camera won't be picking it up because it's facing the wrong way. Alright, we'll clean this plug up and um Chuck the top cover on and see what happens. One started. 
hope I don't have to put a diaphragm in this, otherwise it's going to go on the back burner for a while. I don't have any in stock at the moment. Don't do much on this little homemade throttle cable bracket that someone's made, but anyway. can come off in a minute and go in the bin. Tighten these three down, two down. Let's go and see if this thing will make some noise. A little bit smoky. I was laying on its side when it got dropped off, so uh, I'm not sure. Give it a decent run and see what happens. video on really short bursts at the moment is I'm um, sort of wandering inside doing a job and then coming back outside to it because it's 42 degrees Celsius out here at the moment which is if you're in America about 108 degrees Fahrenheit and um, it's just really really hot so also in a comment in the last video someone said I've got a shit lawn well yeah when you don't water it 24 7 and you're in a drought this is kind of what happens but we just deal with what we can Anyhow, now we've determined this thing's going to run all right, um, it's time to give it a real glam up. So I'll put in a new starter rope that comes back up to the handle here. Um, polish the rest of it up, clean the air filter. I checked the oil earlier and it's really golden and clean. clean. So it's full up to the full mark. I'm just gonna leave that alone. The guy I got it off would have been the type to use the correct grade oil. So nothing to worry about there. So yeah, you just get stuck in it and give it a really good clean up. Take this top cover back off. I've also locked the throttle in the run position. No need to idle it back. And also sort of removes a potential issue in the future if the throttle cable got snapped or damaged and doesn't affect the running of the machine. Alright, I'm we'll popping you rope in this and add a couple of feet to it. All right, I'll try and stay in the shop. So first thing I need to do is get the overall length of the cord that I'm taking out, which it seems to already have the extra length in there, so. Mm. Won't be a problem for us. the extra length we need. 
Oh, there's a water. There's one. Oh, the burning end of the rope off. Melted anyway. And the other end. start a rope out of it. Obviously it's been machine off scrapped and I just wanted to handle it the last second. Yeah. This one's in one piece anyway, even if it is a bit shit. It'll do the job. Double knot there. Make sure it doesn't pull through. Right. Sorry, cut this. Sometimes it's be easier if you had three hands, I think. Fit this to the machine. Right. Nothing else needs attention under here. That can go back and stay on there this time. One thing when you put these housings on, make sure you don't pinch that cable because that's what happened to the old ignition coil. I'll squeeze our bail bar. Starter rope is now up on the handle. Perfect. Next up, I'll um, clean up the top dress cover that goes on there. It's a little bit crappy looking, so I might um, just dust it with some, some black paint and make it look a bit nicer. Uh, just while we're waiting for some paint to dry, we're going to clean this air filter. So I've just soaked it in some degreaser. It's actually in pretty good shape as it is. But it's never going to hurt just to wash out a little bit of dirt that there was, re-oil it, and put it back in. So there's our air filter fitted back on. I'll straighten the bolt out. Probably should have replaced it, but whatever works. So while we're waiting, I'll just put some um, 
satin clear on the um, little plastic shroud that goes over the top. I'll um, whip this blade off and give it a quick sharpen. Please use some sort of friction washer and a couple of locking washers. Friction washer there stayed on. Lay them up that way. Be right, put it back together in a moment. So, the blade itself isn't that bad. It's just got a couple of little chips out of the edge. So we'll give it a quick touch up with the grinder and it'll be as good as new. Sweaty. Okay, just sold one of the um, rovers from the previous video. Doesn't have to be perfect, doesn't even have to be a knife edge because it'll dull very quickly. But as long as it's got a good solid striking edge to cut the grass with, you'll be right. It's just time to polish up the rest of the red paint, I think. Here we are, looking much better. Um, that's just a sort of a coat of um, export WD-40. Can't do much with that catcher, unfortunately. It's kind of um, knackered, but it works. So we'll take it out front and get some nice photos of it and get rid of it. too bad for its age. Uh, that one's a 2010 model, so almost 10 years old now. We'll be in a few days. Yeah, I'll just take a moment wish everyone a good Christmas and wish everyone a happy New Year. Hopefully we've got some shenanigans to, to get on with on New Year's Eve, but we'll wait and see if that happens. I think, I think something made in China is going to die and whether I'll videotape or not is another thing. So, once again, thanks for watching.